Well, from all of that sporting Woo. excitement as champions, we know that we're not just champions. We're also approaching a very exciting season, summer. We're moving away from the heavy, rich food synonymous with winter, and we start eating lighter again. And today, we're taking you on a trip to the Mediterranean. Bring your passports, bring your visas, <laughs> as we create a dish inspired by the region. Creamy polenta, rosemary roasted tomatoes, crispy angel fish, and of course, all the goodness of Be Well flavored canola oils. Che uh, Chef uh, Teresa Alliate is in control this morning, uh, taking us on this Mediterranean voyage. Let's get busy, Teresa. Hey. What have you got here for us? <laughs> <laughs> this is an amazing main meal. It's not that easy, um, not that difficult to put mm. together, sorry. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you all the steps. Mm. So okay, cool. It's a lot going on. There's so a lot. But there's it's, a, you need to pay attention. There's a lot of flavor. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Nice. Right, so we've got the Be Well garlic flavored oil. Canola. Okay, so we're making use of that Be Well canola oil. Be Well is obviously yes. rich in vitamin E and omega 3s. It helps lower the risk of heart disease, depression, and arthritis. And of course, their flavored canola oil, the Be Well flavored canola oil, they are affordable. They're available in cheeky chili, zesty lemon, and simply garlic flavors, mm. which is fantastic. It allows you to bring in whatever type of flavor you're looking to bring through in your meal, meal and your dish. Especially when we make something like this that is so flavorful, you That's want it. the support That's of right. your canola oil. That's right. So I've added some butter, mm -hmm. and now we're going to add our polenta. Mm. Okay, so just add that in slowly, give it a good whisk, mm. and let that butter all incorporate into the polenta. Mm. I looked go. at the finished product of uh, the polenta, and it looked like pap a bit. What exactly <laughs> is polenta? So it's cornmeal. Oh, okay. But it is, it's similar to, yeah. to pap. It sort of has that look. Yeah. Um, right, so the whisk is your friend. Okay. So I'm going to add some chicken stock. Ooh, nice. You're just going to add it gradually, uh -huh. because you don't want lumps in your polenta. Okay, so just you want to get it as smoothly slowly. textured as possible. That's it, yeah. So add your chicken stock. That's going to add some beautiful flavor as well. Nice. And then we're going to add some milk. Mm, what's that for? Is which that is for? also going to just add creaminess and a little bit of flavor. Okay. And again, just go slowly. Yeah. Get it all whisked in. So that's where there the creamy go. factor comes from, from totally. the milk. Well, the keyword is be well. SMS be well to double three seven two eight. We'll send you uh, a link to the recipe. It's a Mediterranean polenta with angel fish. It's easy to make. But oh, the flavors, it's <laughs> bursting with so much of flavor, you're gonna love it. Yeah. So basically what you want to do is keep that on the heat for about half an hour, keep yeah. whisking every couple of minutes so okay. you don't get any um, bits that stick to the pan and burn or any lumps. All right. And then uh, you'll end up with something that looks like this. It looks like Beautiful, this in the end. Polenta. It's smooth, yeah. Yes. Ah, this is so good. Yeah. So right. good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave that and I'm going to move on to the fish. So we're going to okay. be frying some angel fish to mm -hmm. on top of the polenta. Love it. So now we're using the Be Well Cheeky Chili Oil. Yeah. I Oof. like that name. That variety. Cheeky I know, chili. Cheeky Chili. Yeah. But it also tastes very nice, Cheeky <laughs> Chili like as well. Beautiful with delicious. the fish. Very yeah. Right. Oh. So heat that up. And then you're going to add your fish. If you don't want to use fish, you can use steak, chicken, pork, so you can beef, play with any it. protein. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So uh, but of in. course, if we're making a very Mediterranean-inspired uh, 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 dish, you want to make sure that you bring in mainly the fish, right? That's I think it. It's very common to do that. That's it. So just season it, and then you're going to cook it for a few minutes on each side mm -hmm. until it's cooked through. Mm -hmm. And the way you know that it's cooked through is that the fish is starting to flake okay. and coming apart. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Because yeah. fish is a tricky one. A lot of yeah. people get it wrong, even restaurants sometimes. <laughs> that's so that's true, the that's trick. True. If you're a restaurant owner <laughs> and you run a small restaurant and you're not really a chef, hopefully Therese has helped you there on how to tell when your fish is ready to go. Right. Okay, well, that keyword once again is be well to double three seven two eight. Send that through to us for SMS you. You'll get the link. You can can click through, get to make this recipe yourself at home. That's it. Right, so don't forget to season your fish. Also, don't forget to season your polenta once it's finished. Perfect. Once that's done, you mm -hmm. can assemble. So now I'm going to get you involved here. Okay. You're going to help what me. What would you like me to do for you? <laughs> or All with <right>. you? <laughs> so I'll do the polenta mm -hmm. first. Is that okay? Yeah. Right, so yeah. what you're going to do is pop this. Oh, gosh. It's like pop, A little eh? bit stiff, yeah. Stiff <laughs> pop. <laughs> and if you have extra polenta, you can actually um, put it in the freezer or you can put it in the fridge to set and cut it into chips and you can... Oh, nice. Right. You can actually yeah. make it quite fun, fun, fun to yeah. make when, so, you, when you dish it up. So it's a little bit stiff. What you can do if this happens is just warm it up gently. Yeah. And it'll... And then flatten it'll it. It'll soften again. Yes. Yeah. This one's just been sitting for a little while. Yeah, nothing a bit of warmth 
can solve. It's, I mean, exactly. it is creamy, so I can tell. Totally. You can actually just tell that. And the this texture. is what happens. It does set when it sits. Yes. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so are you going to pop the fish on the side for me, yes. please? So that's the one we cooked earlier. Mm -hmm. our fish there. there we go. And then we've got lots of delicious flavor elements here, so I'm going to okay. pass you that. Okay. What do you want me to do? So, well, we, so do you want to do the tomatoes? Tomatoes, yeah. okay. Yeah, so cool. those have been roasted in a hot, hot oven. All right. So they've got lots and lots of flavor. Our guests are getting so hungry there. We uh, must hurry, 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 chop, And again, chop, chop. pop your oil onto the tomatoes before you bake them, uh -huh. and it's going to add extra flavor. Yes. And the oils are interchangeable as well, so if you want to fry your fish in the garlic oil, mm. or, you know, you can You can totally do that. that, yeah. So this, see, you've got some basil pesto there. Yeah. Again, loads That's of flavor. Okay. I've got some olive tapenade. Mm -hmm. Just throw that on there. Ooh, can you see Jamie Lee looking at this food ready to <laughs> receive it? So there uh, we go. We must. And then, uh, so those are our micro herbs. Mm -hmm. We're going to pop on. Mm -hmm. Always make everything look beautiful. Yeah, you want to make it look beautiful. You don't want to do too much of it as well because yeah. it then takes away from the look of the actual dish. That's it. And then okay. these are well, sage leaves. That keyword is uh, double uh, key, be well to double three seven two eight SMS be well to double three seven two eight. We'll send you an SMS with a link to the recipe. This is a delicious Mediterranean polenta with angel fish mm. that we've made, brought to life by be well. Of course, with all that goodness, the vitamin E is coming through. Omega three is great for depression and arthritis and all of that. Okay, so we're going to finish up here and then have everybody eating because <laughs> Jamie Lee honestly cannot cope. And we'll see you after this. <laughs>